Alright. Well, I feel a bit better about my loss from earlier. Let's go here. Sadly, clicking on the map doesn't bring you to that point. Wouldn't we work too well if it did, considering how the map is covering the screen right now. But anyway. 20% elemental damage. Increases spell damage. 14 to intelligence. 30% increases critical strike chance for spells. Increases stun duration on enemies. Fifty-seven. Alright, um... Let's head this way. One of the abandoned mooks is over here. Oh, and here's the Syndicate right away. Awfully nice one. <laughs> Only a fool braves a red blades encampment. Ooh, one of these. Remember seeing those later on. Again? Yes, I can. These are so like my zombies. There, the healing totems are all gone. Now we just have to worry about him. Which is still a lot, but it, it, it is less. I regret leveling him up. If I have the ability to, I will weaken him. Actually, I will. That's an inherent thing, ain't it?
I'm not losing any XP, not yet. Yeah, I've made him too powerful too soon. Not ready for an enemy disp early. And I'm also making mistakes of my own, fixating too much and twacking him when he has heavy strikes incoming. Forgetting about the turrets. Extinguish me again. <laughs> And I will still burn. Which in a sack. Just need to kill this flesh manipulator. A ghostly phantasm. Let me act as your spy. Let me be the beacon that burns bright. Sending signals from the distance. There is one in particular who casts an interesting silhouette. No, uh, that's tempting. It, that is very tempting. But no, I'm going to get 15 fortification intelligence and knock him down a rank. We'll let you smolder behind bars for a while. A unique. Clubs. Uh, Ondar's Clasp. A single lightning strike fells a man. A single knife stroke fells an empire. 30% increased attack speed, went on full life. Adds 1 to 13 lightning damage to attack, 38 accuracy, and 20% increased movement speed, went on low life. It's 3 energy shield and 11 evasion rating. Lose a bit of armor, a bit of uh, evasion rating. We'll gain a little bit of energy shield, though, and a little bit of damage. Maybe three. Okay! A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Well, it's 1 to 13, ain't it? So, it, you know what? Yeah, do it. They really like tossing improved equipment at me, don't they? Read it. When those bodies shimmered oddly. Row 
what? Scavenger. Contagion. Let's cast Scavenger of Time if it's. Also, we're killing all of them. We'll get two passive points for it. You strike me as someone who craves a higher purpose. Something worthy. Something like peace. Three tribes battle for this forest. Every day, my brethren and I battle and die with crates of rats at the bridge and Alira's thralls of the old road. To spare the lives of many, you need take only two. But if peace isn't reward enough for you, Bring me the amulets that hang around Creighton and Alira's worthless necks. When joined with mine, those trinkets will forge us a new strength for you and I. The strength to bring about peace. Uh, if we side with him, we'll get 1% uh, of life regenerated per second, 2% additional physical damage reduction. Okay, they've made this a lot more tempting. 1% of life regenerated per second, 2% additional physical damage reduction, and 20% increased global physical damage. My god. Do I fight any party members who do not side with you? Oof. I'm glad I'm playing it solo. But then again, who would just give up two passive points? Sorry, just turning off the radio. It's been on basically since I started recording. Even when I went, you know, AFK for a bit, I left it on. I think it's been on long enough. Uh, 30, 60, 90, 20, 50, 80. Line across. Line across, line up, line to the left. Uh, to the right, one up, one across, one up, one to the left, one to the right, one up. Okay, yeah, that was good. Kill Oak. So only those are right around you. What was that thing he gave? Hmm. Interesting. There's your peace, Oak. The only peace that anyone can expect in Rayclass. Uh, Oak's amulet, a relic of a sundered relationship. Waits reconciliation with its kin. I'm not sure if this was too useful. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I've I've got an idea. Portal. I have seen warriors in black in the east. They are from your Oriat. Better fed, better armed than you, exile. Oriath did not want you, so why does it follow you here? You will understand what you see more than I. Go east and find these warriors in black. If there is danger to us, I need to learn of it. Um, going? <laughs> How be you? Goodbye. Okay. Um, I need 
try and find a gem. I thought you were a fool for seeking out Mervale. A fool in love with death. Now, I don't know. Still, you've delivered this coast from the terrors that long held sway here. We may now find some respite, and that's more than any of us could have hoped for. But please, consider this. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? Fucking badass. Ah, here's more. Spectral shield trail. That's new to me. Oh yeah, Shattering Steel, that's a new thing. So again, Axe are sword releasing projectiles in sequence. The projectiles shatter when colliding with an enemy or tra traveling a short distance. Shatter pieces deal damage in an area in front of the impact location. Stormbrand. Uh, creates a magical brand that can attach to a nearby enemy. Periodically activates while attached, firing beams which deal damage to nearby enemies and those around them. This detach if the enemy dies. Can be attached for a duration of 5 seconds, detached for 10. Activates every half a second while attached. Toxic rain, elemental hit. Each, uh, uh, each attack with a skill will choose an element at random. Won't be able to deal damage of that element. If, an, uh, if, the enemy, if the attack hits an enemy, will also deal damage in an area around them. With the rates being larger if that enemy is suffering from an ailment of the chosen element. Avoid choosing the same element twice in a row. Um, Uh, hit the target. Uh, hit the target enemy, applying a charged debuff to it, and an uncharged debuff to any other enemies hit. Um, upon reaching six charges or uh, expiring, or the enemy's death, the charged debuff is removed and deals damage to that and any uh, other nearby enemies. Enemies without a debuff explode when they die, dealing damage to near other nearby enemies. Damage from this explosion cannot be reflected. Sword, axe, mace, staff are unarmed. Okay, that might be better than this. Summon skeleton, wither on our body swap, siphon drop. Basically, I was thinking I...